Hey troops, welcome to the boob tube. Guess what we're talking about today? Flats. Such a controversy. And what I want to clear up is it is no longer a controversy. In my book, I debunk the studies. I show how they are manipulated. They use organs that are not estrogen receptor positive, meaning the estrogen does not affect that organ, or they compare flax with a synthetic grade estrogen. So there's ways that the supplemental company is manipulating studies to sell their product. Remember people, just because it's not a pharmaceutical doesn't mean it's still good for you. Supplements are meant to be used as treatment, not to be used every day. And this girl will explain to you why. Now, so what I did, is in um, the early 2000s, I was reading breast thermograms and I was seeing unusual vascular patterns or women who are considered high risk with using flax. This is difficult to believe. We are told that flax is healthy for the breast, that we have to have estrogen, but this is what the whole estrogen free diet's about. This is what breast cancer boot camp is about. This is what thermography research by qualified interpreters is showing. Okay, so what do I do? I decide um, I'm gonna start doing all my own research. I'm gonna start my own nonprofit. I'm gonna start showing what is increasing uh, vascularity and risk in the breast. So I enlist one of my friends who is healthy, who had relatively healthy breasts, meaning non-vascular. So I call Trisha up and I said, Trisha, how would you like to do a pilot study on flax? My favorite. Anything for you. Exactly. And what did you think when I asked flax? Because I haven't told you anything at this point. I knew of it as a supplement. Some women used it for constipation or for omega fatty acids, things like that. I hadn't used it myself and I wasn't supplementing at the time. Right. I just have a pretty healthy diet. Pretty yeah, basic Trisha healthy diet. eats just, you know, normal meat, fruit, and vegetables. Yeah, mostly organic. Yeah, oh, sorry. Yeah, organic. Yeah, mostly yeah. organic. We try. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Trisha owns OB Massage in Ocean Beach, California. Yeah, mm -hmm. so she yeah. does has a healthy alternative lifestyle, I guess you want to call it now, which would mean just a normal lifestyle. Mm -hmm. So anyways, uh, so I enlisted Trisha to do my flax pilot study. Now, I used an organic, we started with an mm -hmm. organic O uh, oil. We tried the oil yeah. first. Yeah, and what the re recommended daily dose was a fifth a cup, mm -hmm. which we found was too difficult to try to yeah. eat a fifth a cup, and she was very compliant. So then we switched to an organic, the soft gel caps. Soft gel cap, Now, yes. people, you're going to say, nope, this isn't the same. It can't be an oil. It has to be flax seeds. Nope, we get the same results for the flax seeds. So if you're thinking that and you want to go there, <laughs> don't do it. It's still estrogen. So stop thinking like that. Mm -hmm. We look at everything here. Okay, so we switched you mid-treatment um, yeah. to uh, the pill just because it was so hard to eat all that oil. Now, here's the thing. We agreed upon a sixth month study. Yeah. We only made it six weeks and yeah. it was six weeks of screaming and yelling. It was horrible. So tell me what happened when you started seeing the difference of high levels of estrogen taken daily as a supplement in your body. So within what a week, week to two weeks, I had emotional call them swings. <laughs> To the point where I was going from tears to being enraged at times, my breast swelled, my butt got bigger, I gained I think about 5 to 10 pounds, which is pretty unusual for me. In I don't the six generally, weeks total. Yeah. In the six weeks total. Yeah. In, yeah, and within a, just a little bit of time, I just didn't even know what was going on. It felt like, you know, I just hit puberty for the first time and was on steroids or something like completely upset and enraged and not knowing what's going on and not normally that moody. So she called me and she says, I'm having some problems. I can't be, um, I don't know if I can do the study because I'm having some emotional problems. And I said, Trish, I've put you on estrogen. It's the exact same thing as starting a birth control pill. <laughs> so Trish wasn't happy to hear that <laughs> just because she had thought like most of you because it's a plant it's healthy I have to have it people plants are medicine you don't mess around with them 
You go to specialists that have studied them for years, herbalists, to help you. You just don't march into a vitamin store and start pulling things off the shelf and listening to the grocer. Mm -hmm. Plants are powerful. Key is, we'll see in her, we're, gonna, we're showing your images, oh, the awesome. before and the after, so that people can see the difference. Yeah. So when you heard that, what happened when I told you, like, no, this is a flex. This is, is, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> after I got the, oh my yeah. God. <laughs> Because the first thing I said is I feel like I just went on the birth, um, birth control and I was never able to take yeah. birth control at all. You know, I tried it and it made me sick. I had to come right off and the same thing, I tried to take the the flaxseed longer and I just, I was so sick. Yeah. And it wasn't even just that, it was starting to cause intestinal issues for me and all sorts of other things. Wow. So it was a big, yeah, it was a big problem. And a lot of you may not feel these um, side effects because you may have too much estrogen already. That's why I have to, it's very hard for me to find people to do studies on and I've only asked Trish once and I've never asked her again after <laughs> this. <laughs> you can only use your I friends know. one time in this, in this world. One and over. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what happens when you hear someone that wants to do flax? Oh my god, I freak out. I'm like, don't even, don't even use the seeds, don't. Yeah. Just don't use it. And then I actually will usually refer them to checking out your book yeah. and getting some more information about other things that people don't realize. Like I used to eat edamame all the time. Right. And have soy products constantly. I had a long term of being vegetarian. Yeah. And I realized, you know, maybe all of that soy from when I was doing that was part of the reason why I wasn't healthy for a while. Yeah, absolutely. And then decided to go back to absolutely, me. absolutely. And what we're showing you is this is not medical assumptions or medical rumors. We are basing all this information on the thermograms. So even if you don't believe it in your heart, we can show you what's actually going on in your breasts. Mm -hmm. And that's what we do. Each woman is treated as an individual. We don't lump everyone together because what works with you may not work for somebody else. And that's what we're also seeing. But ladies, flax. Do it or don't do it. Don't do it. Don't so do it. Bad. Avoid it. So bad. Breast Cancer Boot Camp, people, check it out. This is the flax is not only affecting women, it is affecting our children. It is causing mm -hmm. early menarche in young girls. Do not give estrogen hormones, plant phytoester plant estrogens are called phytoestrogens, to your children. Do not feed your children soy and flax. It's affecting them. The other reason you can another way you can see this increase in high levels of estrogen in our diet these days is low testosterone in men. Oh, Look yeah. at that brand new thing. I just saw menopause on Time magazine. Well, what do you think is causing that? Is your wife throwing in a whole bunch of flax seeds into your smoothie every morning as you walk out the door? This is affecting all of us. It's not just affecting women. Yeah. All right, Trish, thanks. No, thanks for being pleasure. so brave and no. sharing your story. My pleasure. Yeah. I actually wanted to let you know, too, one of my clients, her, her husband and her two children who are spe have special needs, all were having flax and soy and everything, and then she read your book and cut all of it out oh, for wow. everybody, and they were all like just so happy. Oh, so they're feeling yeah. better. So the whole family, the whole family changed. Oh my gosh! I know. Yay! It I happens. The trickle down effect. Yay. All right, troops. You have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon.